welcome to technofunk functional capsules these capsules provide introduction to a business process area and helps you build process expertise the topic for this lesson is introduction to cash pooling process this topic discusses the meaning of cash pooling process and how this financial management strategy allows companies to maximize their cash positions and optimize the use of surplus funds this video is brought to you by www.technofunk.com a institute one of its kind that enables people processes and technology the learning objectives of this capsule are learn the meaning of cash pooling understand why cash pooling is required techniques of cash pooling physical cash pool zero balancing notional cash pool cross border cash pooling and cash pooling considerations what is cash pool cash pooling is a financial management strategy that allows companies to maximize both their current credit and debit cash positions to optimize the use of surplus funds of all subsidiaries in a group in order to reduce external debt and increase the available liquidity a cash pool is a group of bank accounts with multiple sub accounts whose balances have been aggregated in the concentration account for the purposes of optimizing interest paid or received and improving liquidity management why cash pool cash pooling enables corporate groups to minimize expenditure incurred in connection with banking facilities through economies of scale some benefits of cash pooling are listed below liquidity management conglomerates need to juggle excess and deficit cash positions across multiple entities regulatory environments and currencies interest spread optimizing interest paid or received economies of scale minimize expenditure incurred in connection with banking facilities due to centralization interest calculation ease in interest calculations and reduction of financing costs at group level making of investments improvement of investment return due to economies of scale intra group funding optimal allocation of internal liquid funds reduction in external debts balance sheet improvement optimization of cash flow forecast because of coordination of financing cycles techniques of cash pool a cash pool can be physical or notional a physical cash pool can further be zero balancing or target balancing depending on the type of cash pooling arrangement the participating entities may transfer either their entire cash surplus known as zero balancing they can also transfer cash exceeding a certain surplus level known as target balancing physical cash pool a physical cash pool is a concentration account used for the purposes of managing liquidity surplus funds are physically concentrated into the account in order to maximize interest De deficit accounts are covered by transfers from the cash pool in order to minimize overdraft interest the master account is usually held by the parent company or by a treasury company established specifically for this purpose what is zero balancing The zero balancing method is also called cash concentration or sweeping method and is the easiest way to introduce cash pooling. Zero balancing could be self initiated or bank initiated. Zero balancing. Physical cash pools are used when organizations want to sweep all end of the day balances automatically to or from the main accounts. These sweeps are automatically handled by the bank and mirrored by the organization. Given below are the steps for bank initiated zero balancing method.
enablers for zero balancing fund transfer transactions under zero balancing may be called as sweeping and topping transfers and draw downs of funds to or from the master account by the participating companies have the nature of the grant and repayment of intra group loans in general all entities participating in the cash pooling arrangement will be liable for any negative balance on the master account irrespective of the amount they have contributed reporting or shadow accounting in respect of zero balancing transactions is usually available to track the transferred amounts zero balancing example the participants conduct their daily commercial activity paying and receiving funds using bank accounts that are part of the pool at the close of each business day all positive balances in the sub accounts are transferred to the header account and any sub account deficit positions are covered by funding from the header beginning cash position balances as on 31st march 2015 subsidiary a xyz bank branch 1 negative balance 200 at the rate of 15% subsidiary b xyz bank branch 2 balance 300 at the rate of 10% subsidiary c xyz bank branch 3 balance 100 at the rate of 10% daily set off subsidiary a borrow from header negative 200 balance at 15% rate of interest subsidiary b lend to header 300 balance at rate of interest 10% subsidiary c lend to header balance 100 at rate of interest 10% cash pooled total available on 31st march balance 200 in this situation there are three intercompany loans b and c are in surplus and lend to the header a is in deficit and borrows from the header balance netting this is another arrangement to achieve cash pooling in an organization the key aspects of this structure are only one company has a account the top account is debited or credited through notional accounts the top account the top account holder grants authorizations to other group companies to use the top account through a specific transaction account the balance of the transaction account shows the debt relationship between the top account holder and the transaction account holder target balancing target balancing is very similar to zero balancing just with another attribute regarding the day and balance in case of target balancing every day a predefined balance remain on the account which may be for instance used for lease guarantee etc all participating accounts will have the target balance at the end of the day surplus balances are debited minus balances are credited to or from the header account leaving the target balance in the transaction accounts notional cash pool in this case the cash pooling is notional meaning there are no physical transfers between the accounts single balance accounts are added together and netted against each other a notional cash pool is a structure involving several related accounts whose balances have been aggregated for the purposes of optimizing interest paid or received in other words a bank looks only at the total balance of the accounts in the notional pool when calculating interest but there is no physical movement of funds Notional cash pooling will not result in the creation of intra group loans since funds are not physically transferred. Notional pooling example 
Notional pooling can be explained using the example of a hypothetical company that has four subsidiaries A, B, C and D operating in India with INR as the functional currency. The credit interest rate offered by the Delhi branch of the bank is 10% and the debit rate of interest is 15%. Balances as on 31st March 2015. Subsidiary A, XYZ Bank Branch 1, balance credit 200 at the rate of 15%. Subsidiary B, XYZ Bank Branch 2, balance debit 300 at the rate of 10%. Subsidiary C, XYZ Bank Branch 3, balance debit 100 at the rate of 10%. Subsidiary D, XYZ Bank Branch 4 Balance Credit 100 at the rate of 15% Trade it separately A pays 30 B earns 30 C earns 10 and D pays 15 Companies Expenses 5 Cash Pooled Total available on 31st March is 100 A pays 20 B earns 30 C earns 10, D pays 10 and company earns 10. Cross border cash pooling. Physical pooling can be used across multiple legal entities located in the same or different countries but in the same currency. The funds movement between the participating entities is accounted for via inter-company loans. However, notional cash pooling can also be implemented across multiple currencies. Hybrid Arrangements Often, a company may have accounts in an excess cash position across various currencies and countries with a single bank. Hybrid arrangements can be entered with the bank with an objective of interest optimization. Cash pooling considerations. The specific structure of individual cash pooling arrangements can vary. For example, transfers to the master account may be undertaken by each participating group member individually or may instead be undertaken automatically by the bank on the basis of a power of attorney given by the relevant group company. Some considerations while defining the cash pool arrangement are Legal framework A cash pooling arrangement must comply with the prescribed capital norms and resulting legal requirements of the country of registration or operations. Cash pooling agreement Each participating group company will usually enter into a cash pooling agreement. Bank Facility Agreement The facility agreement of the corporate group with the bank should reflect the terms and conditions of the cash pooling agreement in order to reduce the risk of liability. Banking Regulations The cash pooling structure adopted should consider and comply with the applicable banking regulations. Company Law Similarly, the requirements arising from applicable company law of the country of operations must be considered in connection with cash pooling arrangements. Tax issues. Tax issues must also be carefully considered when structuring cash pooling agreements. In the case of physical cash pooling, interest may be payable on sums lent and borrowed by the participating companies. Cut-off times. Whether the physical pooling takes place within a single country or across border, the cut-off times for transactions is very important and it should not be a limiting factor to actual business operations. Bank charges. Actual cost of the transactions should be reasonable and should bring value to the enterprise by adapting to cash pooling arrangements. Thank you for watching or downloading our training material. If you need copies of this material,
for corporate trading or commercial use please contact info at the rate of technofunk.com for further details to watch our other videos visit us at youtube.com slash technofunk we recommend you to subscribe to our channel and newsletter to get periodic updates on new content that is added every week